All right, first and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises and glory belongs to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wahavakakwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shai, in who I reverence and honors to the apostles that have in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days. It's going to be a quickie, all right? It's going to be based on what? True riches, all right? We're going to go to Proverbs 9, all right? Let's go to Proverbs 9 and jump straight to verse 10. Receive my instruction, all right? So that's what we've been called to do, receive instruction and what is instruction the action or process of teaching from latin instructing them in a right arrangement right to inform to teach to prepare and basically a method describing how something is done that's what instruction does it gives you direction without instruction there's no direction right so it says receive my instruction and not silver right and knowledge rather than trace gold because these things perish. These things are temporal. And silver is nice. Gold is nice. But it's nothing compared to what? Wisdom. Verse 11. For wisdom is better than rubies. Right? And rubies are what? Very expensive. And all things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. So wisdom, rubies, gold, silver. And all things of this world, the carnal things that may seem precious in the sight of what the carnal man is nothing compared to wisdom nothing right let's go to proverbs 10 and 14 wise men lay up knowledge so this is what we're supposed to be laying up right the wisdom knowledge and understanding and isaiah 33 and 6 what did it say wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of the times and the fear the fear of the lord jehovah is his treasure so that's what's going to be our treasure but the mouth of the foolish is near destruction, right? So the main thing we're laying up is what? Spiritual treasures, all right? And we've got Ecclesiasticus. I want to make sure I get this in the right order, right? Ecclesiastes 29 and 11. Lay up thy treasure according to the commandments of Yahweh Yahweh So that is a treasure, right? So when it says lay up that treasure according to the commandments, according to the precepts, right, that were applied in our lives and it shall bring thee more profit than gold, all right? So this word, it is profitable to those that have faith, all right? You're only going to put time into something that's going to be profitable for you. The people in the world, they put time into something because they see it, they, they get in their carnal pay or whatever it is. So it's the same with this truth. But more so, even if you weren't getting a reward, what's the whole duty of man? Fear Yahweh Yahweh and keep his commandments. Alright? So let's go to Mark, Matthew 6 and 19. Make sure I don't want to miss anything. Alright? This is Matthew 6 and we're going to go straight to verse 19. It says, Lay up not for yourself treasures upon earth, Right, the physical, and this don't mean brothers and sisters don't have particular things. I'm sure you have a fridge. I'm sure you have a TV. I'm sure some of you even have cars. <laughs> okay. Some of you even have gold. Some of you even have silver. But you're not laying it up. You're not. You're not trying to attain unto these things, because even flesh and blood is not going to inherit the kingdom of the Most High. Right. Where moth and rust doth corrupt. So moth and rust, rust, it corrupts these things. Right? Moth, what does moth eat? Clothing. Right? And where thieves break through and steal. Okay? But lay up for yourself treasures in heaven. So that's the main thing. Spiritual treasures in heaven, that's what we're laying up. Right? Where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt. That's what we're supposed to be laying up. Right? So every effort you've put in, every time you went to camp, every penny that was spent, the money, because it takes money to do these lessons as well, to travel, 
to get petrol and so forth so all of that is deemed the spiritual treasures the time you've put in the time effort and dedication that is a treasure okay and when neither moth or rust of corrupt away thieves do not break through nor steal because thieves and thieves they can't break through and steal another man can't take what you've what you've worked for in the spirit that's your treasure the angels have written that down for where your treasure is where will your heart be also what, what you value the most right and what's our treasure where it's supposed to be this word right and I said that this wasn't going to be a long lesson so we shut up on this let's go to Proverbs 11 and 4 Proverbs 11 and 4 it says riches profit not in a day of wrath carnal riches they're not going to profit you in a day of wrath okay but righteousness deliver from death so it's going to be your righteousness in your habashai right the wisdom knowledge and understanding which is actually going to deliver his elect from death right so keep storing up them spiritual treasures keep putting in the effort for your habashai and the brethren that believe right now until the next time shut up